much, uh, Rayan. Uh, good afternoon, Jean. Good afternoon, Rossi. My question is directed to Rossi. Uh, do you believe that those off-field battles matter um, in, in terms of being influential in affecting how the game is officiated? And if you do, do you believe World well, Rugby should stand down on coaches who call out officials before games? Somehow protect officials a bit more? Um, I'm not sure what the answer on that one is. It's a difficult one. Uh, uh, I was baffled uh, uh, when Morris was appointed as the TMO, not because uh, I'm actually very, very good friends with Morris. I'm actually close, close friends with Morris. I, I know him really well. And I actually made a point not to phone him before that match uh, because I felt it was such a tough thing for him to do. Uh, but I, I did, did feel when he was mentioned because he's South African, uh, you know, now he's refereeing for South African, uh, his team, owing for South African team. I thought that wasn't, that didn't sit well with me, to be honest with you. As I say, Ella, you know, I know last year in the rugby championships, you know, New Zealand and Australia played with New Zealand referees and Australian referees against each other. Uh, uh, and, and, you know, that's the way things happen with COVID. So, um, I don't know if World Rugby should interfere, but I mean, you will never, if Ben O'Keefe does wrong decisions on Saturday, you wouldn't hear us saying it's because he's New Zealand and Warren Gatlin uh, is New Zealand. Uh, so uh, I think one must try and stay away from those things. And I've, I've learned my lesson and I've made those mistakes many times. I've many times talked too much about referees uh, and, 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 and their things in the media. Uh, and yeah, so yeah, I, I'm not sure what the answer on that one is.